Hello, how to solve this radical problem? We have square root of t to the power of 3 equals square root of 2 to the power of 3. We are solving for all values of t that satisfy this equation. Now, if you have square root of a, it is just like writing a power 1 over 2. So, square root of t power 3 is just like writing t power 3 to the power of 1 over 2. And this equals, we do the same thing here. We have 2 to the power of 3. Raised to the power of 1 over 2. Now look at it here. If you have a power n raised to the power of n, this is the same thing as writing a to the power of n raised to the power of n. So right now, this 3 here represents our n, this represents our m, this represents our n, this represents our m. So we apply this here, then transform it using this other part of the identity. So what we are going to have will be t to the power of a m comes inside, which is 1 over 2, raised to the power of 3, equals 2 to the power of, this is 1 over 2, raised to the power of 3. So, at this particular point, if you have a power 1 over 2, this is just like writing square root of a. Applying that here and here, what you are simply going to have will be square root of t raised to the power of 3 equals square root of 2 raised to the power of 3. So right now, the next thing we are going to do is move this over here. So we simply have, this is square root of t raised to the power of 3 minus square root of 2 raised to the power of 3 equals 0. Now, at this particular point, we have our 3 here, we have our 3 here. And this minus here so we need to expand this and we can only expand this using this cubic identity if you have a power 3 minus b power 3 this equals b minus b times a squared plus a b plus b power 2 and in this particular case a equals root t and b equals root 2 so what we are going to do next will be to insert this and this right here in this identity. So what we are going to have will be a, which is root t minus b root 2 times a square root of t raised to the power of 2 plus a b root t times root 2 plus b squared square root of 2 raised to the power of 2 and this equals 0. So from here on, we have square root of t minus square root of 2 times this cancel this of t plus this times this square root of 2t plus this cancel this of 2 and this equals 0. So at this particular point in time, I'm going to equate each of these to 0. The first one will be square root of t minus square root of 2 equals 0 also have t plus square root of 2 times t plus 2 equals 0. So what we are going to do will be to solve these individual equations. Now let's start with the first one, which is square root of t minus square root of 2 and this equals 0. So what we are going to do will be to solve for t, we move this over here. So we are going to have square root of t equals square root of 2, meaning that this eliminate this and we have t equals 2. So that is our t1, a first value of t. And that is real value. The next step will be to solve this other equation. We have t plus square root of 2 times t plus 2 equals 0. So from here, let's isolate this square root of 2t. We move 2 over here. We move t over here. We have square root of 2t equals, this is negative 2 if you move 2 over here, minus t if you move t over here. Now from here, what you are going to do will be to eliminate this square root here by taking the squares. You take the squares or put part of this equation. This cancel this. You have 2t equal this is negative 2 minus t times negative 2 minus t. So from here, what you're going to do is you have your 2t equals 
let's expand this. Negative 2 times negative 2, that is 4. Negative 2 times negative t plus 2t, this times this plus 2t, this times this plus t power 2. So from here, we have 2t equals this is 4 plus this will give us 4t plus t power 2. So at this particular point in time, we move this 2t over here. We have 0 equals 4 plus 4t plus t power 2 minus 2t. Right? So you confirm everything is correct. Right? The next thing we are going to do will be to subtract 2t from this 4t. We have 0 equals 4. This is plus 2t plus t power 2. So let's rearrange it. We have t squared plus 2t plus 4 equals 0. So this is what we are going to solve. We are going to solve this quadratic equation and find the other values of t. So from here we have t equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. Now, this is the quadratic formula. So, 1 is the equation of t squared, that is our a. 2 is the equation of t, that is b. This is c. So, right now, we are going to have t equals negative b, negative 2 plus or minus square root of b squared, 2 power 2, minus 4 times 1 times c, that is 4, divided by 2 times a, that is 2 times 1. From here, we have t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of, this is 4 minus 16, divided by 2. From here, we have t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of, this is negative 12, divided by 2. From here, t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 1 times square root of 12 divided by 2. From here, we move this over here because there's no space. So what do we do? We have t equals negative 2 plus or minus this. Square root of negative 1 here is r. We have i times square root of 12 divided by 2. From here we have t equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 12, that is 4 times 3, divided by 2. From here, I simply have t equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4, 2 times root 3, that is square root of 4 root 3, that is 4 times 3, that is square root 2 times root 3 divided by 2, 2 cancel 2, cancel 2. We have t equals negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. So, we have two complex solutions right now. t2 equals negative 1 plus i root 3. Then t3 equals negative 1 minus i root 3. So at this particular point, we have two complex solutions. And we also have one real solution, which is t equals 2. Okay, so that it is. So the next thing we are going to do will be to easily check by inserting the value of t. We have check I have t equals 2. So I have square root of t power 3 equals square root of 2 power 3. Let's insert 2 for t. We simply have square root of 2 power 3 equals square root of 2 power 3. So right here, I have square root of 2 power 3, that is 2 times 2 times 2. That's 8, and this equals square root of 8. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. And a quick recap, the most interesting aspect of this is expressing this square root in terms of this exponential 1 over 2. And from there, you apply the a power n times a power m rule. Then you move this 1 over 2 
inside then you take the square root from there you expand using this particular cubic identity after expanding you solve the individual equation by equating each of them to zero so that is a quick brief or review of what we did right there now that is it thank you and goodbye